want to talk about this Zildjian Special Dry Pack, which gives you 14 inch hi-hats, 18 inch crash, 21 inch ride, and a 16 inch crash. And they do a lot of great things collectively, individually, and I want to talk about each one of them and break it down and give you the, uh, the uses that I think set these apart from other symbols in the Zildjian line. So starting with the 14 inch hats, what I really love is when hi-hats don't feel too brittle and when they have a give to them. So uh, my old reference for stuff I like to hear on the drums is a lot of 60s, 70s sort of R&B recording stuff that a lot of uh, sample based music is based on those type of cymbals. And the lush qualities of those cymbals is what I tended to gravitate towards when I heard these recordings. And I think these cymbals ca uh, capture a lot of that. The hats especially, they're lush, they're warm, and they automatically sound, you know, I know it's a word we use a lot, but vintage and retro, but they really do. And it immediately puts me in a mood that I want to play a certain way. You, you might not even know what you want to play and you hit a product and it's like, it's conjuring up a certain thing, it almost overtakes you and it, it doesn't play you, but if you know what I mean, it's like it, it inspires something out of you. These symbols definitely inspire things that I can arrive at easier because they're really allowing me to do that. So now moving on to these crashes, what I think are great about these is that, you know, your traditional crash symbols for lack of a better word, might have a very pure overtone, a pure decay, uh, something we're all very used to. Again, and to meet the style of uh, a lot of the music that us drummers are playing now that are a little bit more synthetic in origin, we want some cymbals that behave in a certain way. And be, uh, because of the combination of the shape of the cymbal, definitely the hammering and the techniques that were used to hammer it, to set it off in a certain way, uh, as well as how thin these cymbals are, there's a lot going on. So. I would describe this as like a really, really pretty, yet very synthetic-y decay that you're not gonna get out of your traditional symbol. Uh, I think it's a very pretty symbol, you know, despite it uh, having qualities that are very sort of like, dare I say digital on purpose, you know, to have this artifact nature to it and just the, the way these symbols have been constructed to allow that to happen. You hit them, you get a quick, yet transparent and airy sound that's not just a quick hit and they shut down. There's more to it. It's hard to describe because I think they're very pretty symbols. As much as they sound nasty, it's, it's, if pretty and nasty can coexist, that's what this is to me. Like anything, these are not just symbols that are meant for one style only. These symbols, like all good musical instruments, have a lot of uh, diversity to them and a lot of usage. So, I've done gigs where I, you know, I obviously do a lot of music with electronics and triggers and they work great for that because they get in and out of the way really easily. But I go on the road and I play electronic stuff, I play jazzier stuff, I play electronic jazz, um, R&B stuff, and they work for all this stuff. I've been using like, you know, forms of a ride cymbal like this for so many styles for so many years and I've seen uh, other drummers with this setup. I saw something recently where somebody wrote uh, on Instagram, they were like, man, that crash sounds like Art Blakey's crash. They're talking about one of these. So clearly Art Blakey didn't have this symbol. It's hard to describe, but th there are these artifacty elements that are in these symbols that give you the feeling that there's more going on than just you're hitting it. There's, there's some aftermath that happens. Now, of course, all symbols resonate and have an aftermath, but these have this sort of dirty decay and I say these words as positives. These were things we set out to do with these symbols. They're also short, they have a little bit of give, but they also just have a very transparent, open airiness, despite them being short. It's, it's hard to you know, sound like I'm contradicting myself, but they're a, a bit more complex than just your standard symbol, so they're gonna give you lots of things. It's like, is it dry, is it airy, is it quick, is it... It's a lot of things, and I think that's what I like most about these crashes. Now, as far as the ride goes, I've always played cymbals like this, so and what I think is great about this is you've got the dryness, 
But again, the way these symbols are hammered between the hammering, the alloy, the shape, you get a nice stick definition. You get a little wash, but it's also dry. You can crash this symbol, which for me, I tend to like ride symbols that I can also crash and I don't feel like I'm gonna get carpal tunnel, you know? So I can crash into this symbol. And uh, guys have come up to me after gigs and said, man, that symbol sounds so great as a crash. It's the best compliment you can have for a ride symbol, you know what I mean? Because I'm riding on it and that, that's obviously what its main purpose is. But when you can crash this thing and people go, I love that crash out of that symbol, then we've got a lot going on. So. This, for me, is an all-purpose. I can bring this as even my only symbol if I need it. I can get a ride out of it and get a crash out of it. So this whole line of symbols is, this is not like a, a concept born, you know, last week, okay? A lot of people may know this, a lot of people may not. Zildjian, was very interested in, and has always been interested in listening to new sounds, listening to drummers and what they're hearing, you know, and what they bring uh, as far as ideas go. So back, we're going back, I sound very old now, we're going 1997, came up with an idea with Zildjian to come up with a line of cymbals that sounded like sped up sampled breakbeat drumming. So when you sample a cymbal, a sample a breakbeat and speed up the pitch, everything sounds like it's higher. So they came out with a line called Remix and they were smaller sizes of everything and they had attributes that sounded quick in and out. That was the beginning of stuff. Uh, we wanted a sound that A sounded synthetic and sounded a little bit like trashy and almost broken or cracked. We came out with a Remix effect symbol. It had tambourine jingles in it. It had slats cut out, holes cut out. It was the perfect I couldn't believe I, I got a product that, you know, I could get that sound from, you know? We moved on, we made some hats that also had jingles in it, so this was pre-2000, you know? Now it seems like, oh, this has been around forever because we see a lot of our favorite drummers, they're all playing, you know, cymbals like this, but Zildjian always had their eye on the prize. That morphed itself into something that I helped them with that was the very first iteration of the custom special dry ride. I wanna say maybe 2002, 2003. And that was a great symbol. That symbol sounded dry and it sounded great, but I felt that you hit it, it sounds a certain way. You hit it, it sounds the same way. You hit it, it sounds the same way. What happened with these is the complexity was built into these now where it gives me also what I love about a very complex jazz symbol. Just the way you hit it, you're gonna get some more feedback out of these. And they don't just sound static. So every hit is its own adventure in a good way. And that's what I think has been the evolution of, of this line over the years and why I'm most excited about it because they feel like they give you the control, but they also give you that X factor that we all love as musicians when we wanna talk about our favorite rides and why we like it, that thing you almost can't describe, you hit it and it gives you more as you keep hitting it. It's not the same sound over and over again. And they found a way through the, you know, all the different techniques they've used to give you control. You want it to sound control, you got it. You wanna have some X factor, you've got it. And that's something that's very hard to come by in cymbals and Zildjian definitely nailed it with this line.